Inasema hivi say this Kisha kasema and he say Usikaribie hapa Don't come close to you Kuwa viatu vyako kutoka mikono from your teeth Kwa sababu mahali ambapo umesimama Because the place where you stand Ni mahali patakatifu is a holy place Pigia bwana mikono na rafiki wangu Hey Kai Sasa ni ufufufu wa Kristo. Ni the glory of Christ. This uh, thing that we are living on, nimeaishi mchana. I live it today. Na ndio maana ndio neno tulikuwa nayo leo. This is the word, the message that we did have today. Kuwa mbele ya macho ya Mungu. To be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Kuwa ndani ya uwepo wa Mungu. To be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Because if you watch it, miaka yote ambayo Musa ameishi, many years, the years of Moses, aliishi miaka makumi nne, it lives uh, 40 years katika nyumba ya raha in a nice group house. Akifundishwa sayansi, they teach him the science. Atafundishwa sheria and they teach him the law. Atafundishwa haki ya Misri and they teach him the rights of Egypt. Miaka ile yote makumi nne. All those four years. Ndio ilikuwa ya maana kwake. Really that was uh, important to him. Lakini haikukua muhimu kwa that wasn't important to him. Kwa maana utaweza kuona kitu ni cha maana because you can see things be like uh, important. Lakini kumbe si cha muhimu but are not very important to you. Kwa maana kuna watu wanaona because there's people can see things. Kusema uongo kwao ni ma, kwa mahani ina yani kwao ni kitu cha maana. They can speak they can lie to them can be good. Lakini yale maisha sio muhimu but that life is not good life. Lakini utaweza kufurahia kitu. You can like you can appreciate. Lakini si cha muhimu but is not important. Huyu mtumishi wa Mungu Musa is man of God Moses. Aliishi katika mambo ya maana. He lives in the things that was Lakini haikuwa muhimu but was it very important. Alafu Mungu alitaka kulinganisha but God tried to compare yale maisha that life ambayo watu wanaona kama ni ya maana people can see is important Mungu akapenda naye aishi naye miaka makumi nne mjangu and God decided to live with him in desert alafu Musa aanze kuangalia for that Moses can compare aone hii ambayo niliishi miaka mingi katika nyumba ya kifalme to to see that the men the years that is spent in the house of the king pharaoh na hii ambayo nilisha katika jangwa la Mungu and the years that is spent in the desert with god nione ya maana to see which one is important hallelujah amen hallelujah amen huyu Musa this Moses alipokuwa aki akichunga kondoo when niambie tell me mtu ambaye alikuwa mu nyumba ya kifalme the person was in the royal house ilikuwa na kula mzuri was eating nice anavala mzuri wearing very watu wanampepo wana wana wanamletea kahewa si anakaa and people was uh, serving sasa ilikuwa natembea watu as, asianguke when is working people was protecting him lakini but akakuwa mchunga combat One day he starts keeping uh, a sheep. Unanielewa? Unanielewa? Muangalie mtu ambaye alikuwa nyumba ya kifalme. Look the person who was in the house of the king. Angalia raha alikuwa nayo. But look how was his life before. Angalia sasa anaenda chunga kondoo za mtu mwingine yetu. One time he starts serving another person keeping a sheep. Hallelujah. Amen. Lakini katika ile but through that Bible inasema hivi. Bible says ya kwamba but siku moja one day alikuwa akitembea na kondoo za Yetro. Okay. Amen. 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 Iko anatembea. He was walking with the sheep akaangalia <coughs> and looking. Akaona kijiti kinawaka and he can see the tree on the fire. Akiteketee. Yes. 
that is uh, consumed. Akasema, and he's saying, Mimi I can't see clearly. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't see clearly. He looked like this. Kisha akasema, Akageuka. And the Bible says, and he turned around. For him to see clearly. How did he clear uh, turn? Alifanya he, he did like this. What does he feel? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because he saw the, the tree. Akasema, akageuka ili akione mzuri. And he said, the Bible said, he turned around to see clearly. Yani yeye aligeuka na mnani. Mean he turned like this. Amen. Amen. Kugeuka na mnani. He turned like this. Inakua vigumu kwa kila mtu. It's very difficult to any person. Hallelujah. Amen. Sababu gani? Why? Kuna wakati utasikia kizungu zungu. Because when you can feel like a disease. Na iyo... That's what that means. Wakati wote katika maisha yako. All the time in your life. Kama unapenda kuwa katika presence ya Mungu. When you want to be in the presence of the Lord. Angalia maisha umepitia. Look at the life that you pass you are passing through. Angalia yale maisha. Watch your life. Uye uifananishe na utukufu wa Mungu. Compare it with the glory of God. Na ndio utaona kwamba utukufu wa Mungu ni wa maana kwa so that you can see the glory of God is very important. Lakini kuna watu ambao there is people who ukaka hivi. It's all like this. Anapogeuka hivi. Why it's all like this? And it's going the place where you come from. That's why you can see many people are going back. That's why many people they can't see the glory of God. They don't live in the glory of God. But this person who said, and he said, let me turn around. Let me turn around. I can see you. Sababu gani kijana? 
cheat Why the tree does have a fire without the cheat? And God when he saw it, the way he was turning around. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before you come closer to the glory of God, look whatever you did all the day. All the bad thing that you you did. Whatever you did still. The, what, what you did, who you did, you Look around and Because you cannot go through it without watching yourself. You must watch yourself inside. looking to you the way you are watching and when you recognize yourself, you will feel, you will see what you are doing. You can face something new, the transformation. I'm talking about in the book of Exodus 3, 5. To be before the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says this. Mwaile kijiti. Through that that uh, tree, kuna expression asema hivi. There is a word said. Asema, said. Wakati ambapo watu wao katika mapenzi ya Mungu. When people are in the will of God. Munifuate vizuri. Listen to Amen. me. Hallelujah. Amen. Wakati Mungu katika mtu katika mapenzi ya Mungu. When man is doing the will what God wants to him. Moto wa Mungu ukishuka. When the fire of God coming from heaven. Uteketeza waovu wote to destroy the evil people. Yeye hawezi teketea. The man cannot be consumed. Hakuna amen. Amen. Kijiti kimewaka kiteketea. But the fire uh, was in, uh, the tree was in fire without being consumed. When you want the will of God, when the fire of God is coming to destroy the evil thing, because you are like gold, the pure gold, you will resist. Hallelujah. And you will come from the fire a pure gold. That's what the Bible says. The work of every person will be measured. We will, will be put on in the measure. Amen. Yes. Amen. And God say this. You see, you know. Take off your sandal. Take off your sandal. Because the place where you are. The place where you are standing. Because, because God, the, the, the place Moses used pass, was passing by. But that day, Ambayo Mungu alitaka kitu. when God tried want to do something, Hallelujah. Kuna siku. Say there is a day. Kuna siku. Kuna siku. There is a day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kuna siku. There is a day. 